Hey guys, hello. So it took a while, but here I am with my second video. And the first video was kind of about how it feels uh, to stream for somebody who has depression and anxiety. And it's not easy, of course, but Today, I maybe want to talk about how that anxiety and depression affects me and probably many other people. And the reason for these videos um, are not to, I don't know, it's not to seek attention or uh, make that people would feel sorry for me or anything nothing like that when I started streaming uh, even the thought alone about uh, going live especially with the mic and cam it just scared me shitless like I started sweating, I'm actually sweating right now a bit, but it's not that bad, but even the thought scared me. But here I am, and it's been a year, a year of wonderful journey, which help, helped me a lot. And before I started streaming, I was looking for uh, for YouTube videos or, or some uh, forums like Reddit and, and so on. I was looking for people who could give an advice or something like that, who could I don't know, maybe help a little, encourage or something. And honestly, I barely found any videos or posts. I found only a few of them. So this is the reason why I'm making that. Uh, I'm making this um, these videos. Uh, maybe somebody like me will be interested in that and will find me and I will help them somehow. And another reason being I just want to share my experience. Because I feel like that is important. <clears throat> so... Depression and anxiety are two different things, in my opinion. Well, not in my opinion, but in general, these are two different things, although they, they work together pretty well against you, but they work a bit differently. So imagine anxiety like something which constantly tells you uh, like uh, speaking of streaming like before going live that's uh, that small voice you know it just tells you like maybe you shouldn't do that maybe maybe you you will fail uh, what if something will happen on the stream? Maybe you should prepare better. Maybe you should wait a little. Maybe you should think, think things over. Maybe you... Uh, 
you won't know what to do maybe somebody will come into your stream start a conversation and you will not be able to respond like a normal person or or you will be absolutely clueless about how to interact with that person or or something like that things like that so basically things which like uh scares you it's it has more to do with uh, being scared uh, being worried about failing about not succeeding and you keep delaying and delaying that thing you want to do it could be anything literally it could be i don't know it could be a job interview it could be uh, a date uh, so not only streaming but it's just anxiety just pushes you further and further and makes you being afraid uh, to do something but once you do once you press that go live button it somehow starts getting better uh, but anyway it's not easy and anxiety is always there it's just that when you finally do it it somehow makes it a bit easier and speaking of another best friend called uh, depression depression talks to you uh, a bit differently while anxiety uh, just makes you just wants to make you be afraid of something depression is all about apathy and seeing no point in doing something so imagine some little annoying shit talking to you and saying uh, things like why are you doing this what is the fucking point you, you will not achieve anything no one's gonna watch you no one's gonna love you uh you will not get that job uh you you will fail better go back into bed and cry or just kill yourself and yeah it's entirely different it just just tries to get into your head and consume you consume your mind and tell you that everything is pointless so it also makes things hard to do because it never leaves you and those two combined uh, they might crush you mentally uh, to the degree that you will not you will just sit around doing nothing like wasting your time or even worse the worst uh, what could happen harming yourself so either starting using drugs or even committing suicide but what helps what helps is realizing that you are not alone that you are never alone and finding those people with similar issues uh, helps you to control that both anxiety and depression never leaves you but 
knowing that someone that someone else understands you and you can talk with that person you can understand each other that helps a lot and basically what you need to do you just need to not give up and keep trying and trying and trying and fighting and fighting and fighting that fucking shit every single day from the minute you get up from bed until when you fall asleep and falling asleep is pretty hard at least for me it takes even even with antidepressants it takes at least one hour to fall asleep without that i basically couldn't sleep at all i could um, i could only nap so yeah it's not fun it's not easy but you can overcome that you can fight that you may not defeat that shit but you can accept it and you can adapt and learn to live with it and to some degree maybe control it but the most important thing is to not give up to not sit around and do nothing do something whatever it doesn't matter it could be anything it could be just playing games it could be uh, chatting with somebody it could be streaming it could be anything just occupy your mind with something it could be reading it could be listening to music although all these sound like a waste of time but it helps you stay sane <laughs> at least well partially sane but hey it's something it's better than nothing so yeah this was a short one next part will be r related uh, to streaming more again like the first part i will try to do it sooner so yeah and guys don't give up stay strong and i hope to see you again so thank you for watching well there's nothing to watch here thank you for listening and i'll see you next time bye